Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to Sunday morning. It is Sunday. It actually very much so is Sunday. I am trying to make it a big point to record these only on Sunday morning or Sunday after uh, after work or just like whenever. Whenever on a Sunday. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good way to, I've said this before but I'll say it again, it's a good way for me to Check in with myself, have a little consistency in my, uh, in my schedule, in my video schedule. Uh, something that you always know is coming, no matter what. Uh, and if you don't enjoy these videos, well, you're probably not click- you haven't clicked on this video, so it'd be a little weird, uh, for you to not enjoy them, but you're here anyway. Uh, but if you're here, I- I appreciate you a lot. Uh, this is something that I'm really glad to be getting back to. Uh, I mean... Jeez, it's been, uh, whew, it's definitely been over a year since I was playing, like, really consistently. I probably, before I did the first pinball Sunday for this channel, I probably hadn't played in... <sighs> Gotta be over a year. Hit that. Ooh, beautiful. But, uh, I'm, I'm very glad to be back with it, even though when I used to do it, it was, uh, sometimes I would dread it. But, uh, it was just the thing that me and Andrew did. Even if there are a lot of good memories, sometimes it was just like, ah, oh, this again. But, uh, you know what? I don't, uh, I don't feel that way right now. And if I ever get too bored of it, then I won't do it anymore. I'm not really doing it for anyone in specific other than myself. So, if, if, if I get bored enough of it, uh, I won't do it anymore. But, uh, for now, I think it's a great, uh, thing. I, I love that there's been two episodes already that almost tally up to two hours. And, uh, we've gained five billion points. That's, uh, that's the pinball grind for you, baby. The, the points are slow. The points are slow, but the friends we made along the way are, uh, good. <laughs> it, it's just so close to the phrase, but it's not quite it. Check this shot out. Bam! Ooh, that was kinda hot. Uh, so I was trying to think of a possible, like theme for this episode, because I thought it'd be a little fun to have a theme for every Pinball Sunday episode. Uh, but I don't have one today. Uh, if you have any ideas, please leave a comment, because I would love to have some sort of theme for at least some of them. Uh, last week was Self-Care Sunday, I told some self-care stories, and I had a pour strip on, and I opened some, uh, little love notes from my girlfriend, so that was very nice. Uh, I uh, was talking to my good friends, Nolan and the Big Bean, and I was like, Hey, uh, like, maybe I should do, like, a Q&A this week. Uh, but it was already pretty much too late to, like, get any cues anyway. And also, whenever I, uh, do Q&As on, like, Twitter, whenever I'm like, Ask me anything and I'll answer your questions in my recordings. Uh, nobody asked me any questions. So... They, they do sometimes. Like, I've, when I was doing Link's Awakening, I did a little Q&A that spanned over, uh... Jeez, like, probably, like, two or three episodes. Oh, I wanted it. I want to try to get Master Ball before we go fight, uh... Kecleon. Nope. No, fuck it. No, no. We're not going into fucking Kecleon with a Great Ball. You saw that, right? Ugh. Ugh, they switched us right over to Great Ball before that. That was so lame. But, uh, yeah, so, no one did ask me one question that I will address now. He said, what is your his like, your prehistory with this game? Like, did you used to play it before, like, me and Andrew started Pinball Sunday? Yes, actually. I had this game as a kid, and that's why I picked it up again, because I really liked it. I believe I lost my original copy, um, but there probably wasn't much, uh, much to look at in there. However, uh... I rebought the game years later, and that's the copy I'm playing now. One that I probably bought, like, used from GameStop or something like that. I I'm actually not sure where I got it, but I would assume GameStop. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little, uh, little bits, bits of, uh... Oh, that was, that was rude. I wouldn't mind if there were, like, bits... Not mind. I wouldn't be surprised if there were, like, bits of sticker on the back, you know? Alright, so losing a ball is pretty annoying. We gotta get Pichu again. Uh, we don't have a guaranteed Pichu because, uh, the Evo slot was just annihilated because- or the Mart slot was just taken away because we got Evo. Sorry kids, but this is just what we had to do to get Pichu. Once we, uh, once we get Pichu back, the run, uh, the- the- the ball really begins. 
We lost that one pretty quick, which was kind of a shame, but, uh, you know. We got six. That's, uh, that's more than enough coins to buy Pichu. Oh, see? Mwah! Oh, that shot is beautiful. Count the frames for me. Count those frames. Because, uh, I need to know how many frames it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop. No, because you can just, like, make that shot sometimes. And it's the, probably, I would say the most important shot in, uh, the whole game. Not, not the most important, probably. But one of them. Ah, uh, that was kind of cool. Can we, can we get the Pikachu, please? So we have a little bit of a defense, perhaps? There we go. Beautiful. What are we doing? We're, we're trying to evolve this horsey, right? Where was that? Right there? Hmm. Close. Close, bro. Yeah, I think, I think that pretty much addresses Nolan's question. I played this game as a youngster. Fuck. I didn't want to waste that. I played this game as a youngster, I really enjoyed it, uh, and I got it back years and years later. So, probably many years later, to be honest. Uh, because I, I don't, I don't know what happened to a lot of my, uh, Game Boy games. Because I didn't really, I saw, I remember, I rarely sell games because I remember how bad, uh, GameStop used to, like, rip my friends off. And I'm just very, I'm very sentimental about, like, objects. It's probably because I watched only Toy Story as a child. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was, I would never sell games, pretty much. There's, like, one game I ever sold. So I think I just lost a lot of my games, which honestly feels worse. Because not only did I not get money for them, they're all, they're just, like, in the ether. Gone. Mwah! Mwah! The run is saved! The ball is live, baby! And if we lose this ball quick, then I'm a f freaking idiot. That would feel super bad. And some days I'm your super bitch. Saving the world and it keeps getting better. I've been watching, uh, re-watching a lot of Game Grumps lately, and I don't know if you guys like Game Grumps. Uh, but if you watch me play video games, they are way better. <laughs> way funnier. But, um, they, like, those guys, since I've been watching them, they're, like, pretty much everything I aspire to be. They're, like, my main influence to play games on here. I'm not, like, trying to... That's not my main life goal. I don't really have a particular life goal right now, to be frank. But, um... Like, if I could get good enough at this, and this is what I get to do, just play video games with my friends or just with me and get some money out of it, that would be beautiful. Like, I would love... Like, I'm gonna start Super Quaint. First of all, like, a couple more subscribers would be awesome. But, like... My most near, like, goal, I think, is probably, like... Most near, like, monetary goal would be, like... I can work one less day at work. You know? At my job. I also want to get a fucking new job. <laughs> because that job is, uh, pretty much total shit. And not what I went to school for. And I, uh, I like the things I do. I do... <laughs> as a hobby, I do, uh, what I did for school. <laughs> which, uh, is pretty dumb. Pretty dumb sounding. But, uh, <laughs> I li yeah, I literally make videos, which I is what I went to school for. I make them in my free time, which is, uh, sounds super silly, because it's like, man, make some money. And you know what? I do make money sometimes, so shut the hell up. When I make a Cartoon Universe video, I make money uh, a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a video for them because I'm wholly uninspired. Um, the baseball channel, technically that money doesn't go in my pocket. I think there's a great argument for it, too, because I do just about every single thing for that channel to exist. Um, so there would be a good argument for it going in my pocket, but, uh, it kind of does anyway, because that money for the Patreon is used to, uh, what's it called? Upgrade the equipment, which we haven't done yet, but we do have a little bit of Patreon money in the bank. So, we, uh, we can do something like that soon, which would be great. But, uh, yeah. I pretty much have gotten paid, like, probably, like, 50, 60 bucks, uh, for making YouTube videos. Which is better than zero, for sure. But, uh, I'd love to feel like I'm getting a little bit of money off of YouTube consistently enough that I could work one less day at work or something.
I, I'd also like to have a full-time job that, like, matters. Not matters. Like, every, every job matters in one way or another. I shouldn't say it like that. But, like, one that, like, I, like, I went to school for, you know? I'd like to do something with videos. Yo, if you need editing uh, or something, let me know. <laughs> because I will edit for you for uh, probably not that expensive. <laughs> so... <laughs> If you, if you for some reason need any sort of video editing, photo editing is going to be a lot tougher. You're, you're going to, if you look at my thumbnails, I can do very, very simple things. I know the basics of Photoshop and a couple of special things, I guess. But, uh, uh I, I, that'd probably be pretty cheap anyway. I feel a little, like, weird, like, advertising my services. Like, yeah, like, if you need something done on Photoshop, let me know. It's going to come out not the best, but it's going to be cheap. That, uh, that, that, you know what? That seems like an okay business plan, to be honest. I have an idea for something that I'd want to, like, say, like, hey, I'll do this on Photoshop for you for a little money. Uh, I can't talk about it yet. It's for a project coming up. Uh, I know I, I've mentioned this mysterious project a couple times, but you guys will know soon about it. I think we killed him. Oh, one more hit, probably. Who? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't know. But yeah, that's like a long-term goal. Like, I don't- I- I very much don't expect that. Unless, like, when I start streaming, I kind of just pop off. Which, super possible. Very possible. Because, uh, I mean, at least to me, like, if someone's doing Wind Waker no hit runs, like, I'm watching. That's very cool to me. Then, yeah, I- I did decide that that's the, uh, that's the first thing I want to stream for sure. Oh, look at that shot. You love to see it. And we're gonna buy that ball, baby. Um, yeah, uh, just like literally any sort of success on YouTube would be pretty cool. 133, 132. I lost a subscriber for some reason recently. Um, 132 subscribers on Critnik is awesome. Uh, and I'm not gonna say that it's not. But uh, I'm looking for a little bit more. You know, I'm, uh, I'm eager. I feel like Mario Baseball's got 522 right now, and that's sick. But there is a there's a big cap to Mario Baseball, I think, because once the interest runs out, oh my gosh, we only have a great ball, guys. We're not we're not we we can't go to ground on with a great ball, right? We can't miss out on those points. That that would be unholy. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like, yeah, like I was saying, baseball, because Dennis was saying, my, my good friend Dennis, I don't think he watches, uh, these videos. I don't think he watches Crit Neck very often. But if he does, uh, leave a fucking comment, dude, please, let me know. Uh, not a lot of people comment on my videos, and it makes me sad, because I like to interact with people in the comments. And, uh, I will talk to you, and I will take your suggestions as well. So, literally the big bean weaseled his way into being one of my, like, very cool friends. Like, literally the only friend that- The only person that I know from the internet that I would consider a friend. Uh, weaseled my way into being my friend just by commenting on my stuff. So... <laughs> and one day, you could be my friend too. Let's face it, if you're watching this, you're probably my friend. Or like, Connor Nace. Keep commenting on my shit, Connor, and uh, we'll be friends in no time, I promise. Uh... <laughs> Connor is somebody uh, who watches the baseball channel. Very cool. Very cool dude. I forget who he is in the Discord, but I know him by name because he's one of our baseball patrons! Wow, 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 which is fucking awesome. And I appreciate that. I think baseball makes a little over $30 a month, which, uh, talk about a living wage. <laughs> Honestly, like, how much? Like, eh. I don't know. I'd say I probably put like, like on a regular week where I don't have to edit anything, probably like six to eight hours a week into baseball. But that's because baseball is like super low, um, super super low, uh, like low effort. Well, okay, so not six to eight hours because our baseball sessions are usually eight or more hours. So it'd be more like. Uh, like, double that. Like, 16 hours, probably. Because I'd spend time, you know, naming all the videos, making the thumbnails, yada yada. Yada yada, you know. You know the drill. Oh, I didn't want to turn Makahita off. Turning Makahita off is the worst thing. 
Oh, so you'll be interested to know. I don't know if you guys have played this game or not. It depends on who you are, I suppose. Oh, we turned it back on. That was hype. But I, uh, my friend brought over uh, their Game Boy, and they had a Pokemon Pinball, uh, a copy of Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire, with no game going. So I started a run of the Sapphire board. Uh, it's got some cool stuff. I'll, I'll be real. It's got some interesting stuff, but, uh, it's a little bit on, on, uh, no, I, w I don't want to say uninspired. The Ruby board is more classic pinball, I think. And the Sapphire board is kind of, like, weird. It's got, it, it adds a lot more, like, weird stuff. Ooh, Groudon with a Master Ball. Get in before you turn into an Ultra Ball. Please, for the love of God, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> We're catching Pokemon pretty quick, guys. We're doing pretty good. It's funny that uh, this just started, like, Pinball Sunday, for you guys, just started, like, in the middle of, like, uh, the run. Like, I'm the... Ooh, ugh, that is the... That is the shot that you want. That just dealt half of his health. Oh, that was so good. Good stuff. Oh my gosh, wait, we're kind of crushing him right now, actually. Okay. I was gonna say, any more than that and we're fucking crazy. We're not gonna... Okay. Oh no! Bitch! Oh, that was so bad. Ugh. I was gonna say, we're not gonna one-cycle this guy, right? And then the ball drops right in the freaking middle. There's really nothing you can do about that. Like, it's just, like, it's pinball. That's just gonna happen sometimes. Just sucks. Because, like, that just ruined, like, a really, really strong, uh, strong run. Speed does not matter. But it's fun to do it fast. With that stick in the back. Like, look at that. We did it in less than a minute. That was nasty. That was nasty! Leave a comment if that was nasty. <laughs> Just like fishing for comments at this point. Fucking please. My girlfriend watch watches a lot of my videos now. Uh, she falls asleep halfway through every single time. Love you, Bon. And uh, she doesn't leave comments all the time. And honestly, fucked up. Comments help the uh, uh, the uh, thing my video get like passed around YouTube a little more. The algorithm, as the kids say. So, like, leave a freaking comment, bro, if you like me. If you don't like me, whatever. Dude. Oh my god, why are you here, you know? You just watching this to hate on me? That, like, doesn't make any sense. That's pretty weird. I found that I watch some stuff, uh, to be mad at people. But, like, not, like, not enough, you know? Not enough of the, uh, stuff I watch is, like... I'm not gonna say not enough. I had a little kick where I was watching, like, videos of, like opinions I disagreed with and stuff and that was a that was dumb I shouldn't have done that because I was just very mad for like three days because I was like your Steven Universe opinion fucking sucks and I hate you or you know any anything else um I was watching what's her name uh Tama Hiroka or some shit like that she's some po you YouTube polka tuber kind of girl whatever um and she was talking fucking mad shit about Fire Red and Leaf Green. And calling them just, like, uninspired, like, shills, like, corporate, like, we are making this to make money type of game. And I was like, that, like, for one, every game is that. Uh, and two, like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's so mean. She's a nice person. But I was just like, because I think those games were very, very important. Because the, uh, like... The, what she said was, like, the first Kanto games only came out six years before Fire Red and Leaf Green in the United States. Uh, but, like, at that point in time, like, graphics made a quick jump. Like, you don't, like, you don't want your, like, premiere game in your, like, everybody's, like, re go-to region to be, like, 8-bit fucking hell. You, you want it to look nice. And so, that's why, that, I mean, that's why they made Fire Red and Leaf Green. They were like, hey, listen... We got something great, because I think the Gen 1 games are really tight. They they really are. Uh, they're a very, very good thing. And it's like, okay, well, we don't want them to have to, like... These graphics are already so out of date at this point, and this game just, like... This game can play so much better. 
so let's just like i'm not gonna like sit here and like jack off game freak and be like yeah man you you guys like you're the best <laughs> you know i'm not i'm not that's not what i'm here for but what i'm here to say is like i think that fire red and leaf green were very very necessary and definitely were, I, I think, a major contributor to the success of Pokemon. And they also started an amazing trend of remaking games. Because graphics get better and better every, uh, every some odd years. Like, I'm not gonna say that I like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire's look more than I like Ruby and Sapphire's look. Because I don't. I like 2D, and I like Gen 3 sprites specifically way more... Fuck you, dude. Oh, I hate that. Hate you. Um, I like all that way more than I like models. Way, way more. But I think that giving people a new upgraded game, that, like, because you add new Pokemon and stuff, like, it's really cool to explore the Hoenn region with a Pokemon that wasn't in that game. I, that's why I think it's interesting and cool. If you don't change any of the, like, spawn, the, like, spawn stuff, if you don't change anything about the game, then it's a little weird. Uh, and... Uh, kind of silly but like i don't think i think they they usually change some stuff i know in fire red and leaf green they changed a bunch of uh bunch of spawns like you can't get neater in uh right next to viridian that is one example that i know for sure i only know that one i never even beat red and blue or yellow or green but uh i know that for the speed run they use the uh of i think red and blue they both use What's his name? Nido King, and then you get him right there. So that's the only reason I know anything about that game. And I mean, lit literally, like going back, like having Pokemon knowledge in Gen Three, and then going back to play Gen One, it's totally different. The moves work different. Literally, like everything works different in Gen One. Like Bind is a good move, for example. And it's broken. Sleep, I think, is broken. I don't even remember. Ghost types fucking suck. They're still not great in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. By by no means. And they're not very good in uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green either. But that's only because Ghost is super effective on Ghost and Psychic. And uh, the only Ghost types in that game are weak to Psychic. That's, uh, that's the big problem there. Oh, we could, uh, you know what? We could use some coins. We could, we should, uh, we should try to loop some coinage here. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's not it. I would like a Sfeel minigame today. There's two ways to get the Sfeel minigame. We can hit that button that made those low tads come out, and, uh, sometimes it'll give you... I don't know if it's on a cycle, but, uh, sometimes it'll give you, uh, what's his name? Oh my gosh, I kind of stink at that. Um, sometimes it'll give you Wish Cash. Also, with this sucker, you can't do the, uh... Cannot do the coin loop. <laughs> Freaking beans. <laughs> oh, beans. I think I talked about this once, but I kind of wanted to talk about it again because I mentioned Game Grumps. Uh, for a long time, I was like, I can't start this YouTube stuff uh, until I have a partner because that's how all the good, like, channels are. There are two guys or, like, a handful of dudes doing something. Um, and, you know, when I met Andrew and we started hanging out more... I thought that he could be that dude, uh, and we did some stuff together, and it was it was really cool, and it was a lot of fun. And I was like, okay, we do this, we could do this, blah 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 blah. And he was like, hey, like, I don't, I don't like YouTube like that. Like, I don't, uh, I don't really care that much. Like, I'm not interested. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay, um, my plan is, and so what what I'm saying is like, I was waiting so long. I was just waiting around for somebody to like do this with pretty much and there was just I didn't like find anybody that I was particularly like because you're never gonna find the perfect like partner for something like this you're never gonna, just gonna look at somebody and be like that's the one you know I mean you know what maybe you do and whatever cool good for you but not uh I in my belief you'll uh that's just not a thing oh look at these coin loops that's, I mean, hey, listen, that was like 40 coins or something, pretty good. Now we just gotta get up that Marty. Mart slot, baby. Also, if you didn't notice, we'll, uh, we'll go there right now. Check this, check this out. Nope, that wasn't it. That was like super rude. It was neither a coin loop or ups. 
Did you see it? Let's check again, huh? Yeah, I'll get some coins, that's fine. And a Master Ball again, that's fine. Hey, can you drop my stuff? Thanks. <laughs> I'm trying to play pinball here. Nah, listen. That's uh, that's part of the game, baby. Those bumpers. They're actually kind of important. They get you a bunch of points when you're all <laughs> bouncing around in there. Look at that. That's a one-up. Did you see it? We're gonna grab it. Look. Bam! What's up, Trico? Thank you for the one-up, friend. No! That's gonna turn off Makahita. Beans. Uh, yeah. Waiting, waiting on a partner. Uh, just not a good idea. Uh, I was very... It was very wise of me to start doing this by myself. Uh, even though, uh, personally, I find that just, like, talking to an audience is a bit harder when you're by yourself. Uh, putting on a show is a bit harder. But, uh, I think doing it by yourself lets out more of the real you. Uh, because you're, you kind of put, when you're with other people, just in general, you put on some sort of act. And you can argue that I am putting on an act right now because I'm, like with other people technically I mean I know that I'm speaking to an audience and sure I'm putting on some sort of act but it's it's a little different to me to me Ooh, and that's a low tag triple tanker a palm nope <laughs> always looks like a palm with those gross little fingers but it's always maka nope it's not her name ma while almost called her makahita probably because it's that ugly yellow no sir, no siree. I'm very glad to be uh, doing this by myself. I really like uh, when I bring somebody else onto the show. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with Mr. Joe. Um, listening back to our videos, I'm like, man, we're nothing like Game Grumps. We're, we're not nearly as funny. Which, like, makes a lot of sense because we don't put uh, the time and effort into it. I put effort in, but, like, they do, like improv classes you know they 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 lit their livelihoods literally depend on being funny on the internet so i don't get fucking shit for crit nick my friends made me a shirt i got a free shirt out of being crit nick they got me the crit nick is hot shirt crit nick is hot my my mouth just got cluttered with nothing over there <laughs> back there oh <sighs> jeez what, like, historical period would I want to live in if I could? Um, hmm. It's a great question. Uh, all of history, like, kind of sucks shit. And there's always gonna be some sort of terrible problem. Like, racism's just around for the whole shebang, and that kind of blows. I, mm, If I could, like, be impervious, I think I'd love to be around, like, with the dinosaurs. That would be cool. All them wa guys want to eat me, but like, I get to see a dinosaur. That's huge. <laughs> like, and they are also huge. Who gets to see a dinosaur? Nobody! And anyone who thinks dinosaurs are still walking the planet right now, well you guys are, uh, you're lost. You need guidance. That would be really cool and I would really like it. And I like like, journey to the center of the Earth's idea that there's, like, a world inside the Earth, and the dinosaurs are still hanging out there. That's pretty cool, but sadly, uh, we would probably have, uh, known about it by now unless, uh, people were trying to cover it up, but, uh, you know, that would be kind of nuts. That would be cool if one day they were just like, yeah, like, some file came out. It was like, dude, there's fucking dinosaurs down there. That would be awesome. I would want to meet... What's my favorite dinosaur? Oh, jeez. Such a good question. I like Stegosaurus a lot, and I like Triceratops a lot. Those, uh, you know, big leafy... Big leafy guys are always, uh, always fun. It's too stereotypical to go with the T-Rex, but, uh, I do like the T-Rex. It's a great... It's a great animal. It's a great... Great dinosaur. Always a solid pick. I've had times where I was stuck up there for the entire, like, minute and a half that was left, and then the the, the Evo event just ends. It's pretty, uh, pretty silly. There was, there was one time where I got my ball stuck up there. It was, I think it was Chin Chow's, like, spinning around. And it looked like it was infinite points. I'm not sure that it was, but it looked like it. 
because uh, they didn't fall for a really long time and I wasn't pressing any buttons. So I was pretty much just like, fi finally one time I was like, okay, let's shake and get out of this because I I'd rather play the game than just get the leave the game on for 45 hours to get the, uh, to get the high score or whatever. But that ain't honest. And I know that those high score getters didn't do the infinite because their score isn't maxed out. I don't know if there's a max out score. Judging by the Pokemon caught ending at 999, it's very possible. That would be kind of a shame. Oh, I was trying to get that little tuck and fuck again. But you know what? We'll have a, uh, we'll have a calmer Groudon fight. It's very hard for me not to call Groudon Bowser. It's just something that started happening when we played pinball all that time ago. And it's just always in my head. What's up, Bowser? How you doing? Get him! Mm, baby! Yeah, I'm not really sure what else I want to stream uh, besides the uh, besides the Wind Waker uh, no hit run. I think that streaming gets more and more successful the uh, crazier your challenge is. And I think I need to start my stream off with a shebang. I would like to do that Total Drama Nuzlocke that I talked about, but I really think that like I need to build up some sort of audience. Like, it wouldn't be that entertaining or like fair if it was literally just like two people or just like one or it literally doesn't work if there's zero and like when you're just starting out on streaming that can happen occasionally so I'll stream melee whenever I go on there I always see there's like a billion people streaming melee I'm fucking who gosh I am a I'm a travesty at melee dude I'm bad I've played uh I never, like, tried to, like, actually, like, do any of the crazy shit, and I never tried to play, like, an actually good character. Like, I play Donkey Kong, because I play DK in every game, because I love him. But, like, man, he sucks in that game. Good rocks? Hey, those are pretty good rocks. Uh, not for the left bumper, but for the... Or, sorry, not for the right bumper, but for the left, they were pretty okay. This Groudon takes a couple more hits than the last one, because it's a catch... And just like that, I freaking called it, bro. <laughs> I called it. Yo, I gotta say, uh, he's probably not watching right now, but if he is, that would be cool. Shout out to my man, Jim, HefTV. Uh, if you're not subscribed to HefTV, you should. H-E-F-F-T-V. Uh, he, like, he picked up some freaking steam, dude. Like, he had... He had less subscribers than the baseball channel, probably like 400. And then he started streaming uh, Radical Red Pokemon. It's a uh, Pokemon ROM hack that's really hard if you don't know it. Uh, he started streaming a Nuzlocke of Radical Red. And, I mean, kids got fucking balls to even try that. Uh, but he was posting like stream highlights and stuff and he, his channel just popped off. I think he, like, just passed a thousand subscribers. I think he has, like, a thousand and eighty or something. Which is awesome. I'm so happy for him. Uh, can't buy a ball yet, but you know what we can buy? Bonus challenge! This is the Sphiel mini game of the day! Get it. Go! Sweet. Alright. This is gonna be a good one. I can feel it. I can feel it. Steel minigame takes a lot of focus, dude. Don't blame me. <gasps> See that perfect shot? Oh, God. Like, how do you even compete with such a good shot? This is, like, one game, like, I know I, like, joke about being the best at some games, but, like, this is a game that I can, like, very firmly say, like, I'm not the, the best, but, like, I'm better than you. I'm better than probably anyone watching this, which is pretty cool. Alright, no, no, not the not the perfect play there, especially if his field goes up on a ramp, but you know what? We bought our time. Very cool. Get him. Ooh, double feel. Uh-oh. Ooh, oh, that was stinky. Poop, poop, poopy poo. Poopy diaper. Yo, I think I can get my vaccine pretty soon. That's hype. Uh, because I'm, uh, technically, even though I work overnight, so I don't really work around the customers. Oh, fuck. I, dude, I just got distracted and I fucked up. That sucked. Sorry. Sorry, gamers. I know you come for the Ultimates Field Pinball experience. Ooh, if you hurt my back, that was scary. 
Ugh. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm eligible to get the uh, COVID vaccine because I'm technically a frontline worker. I am shocked that I haven't caught COVID-19. And if I did, then uh, it did a pretty good job not proving itself. <laughs> I never got- fuck. Uh, I never got checked for antibodies or anything. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, super exciting. I'm not ready to, like, really go places with the vaccine, you know? Because no, people aren't gonna be vaccinated yet. A lot of people. And some people just want- I, I wonder if they'll, like, let kids back in school if they don't get the vaccine. Probably not? I mean, I guess it's possible. Like, the public school is pretty stupid sometimes. Uh, and they used to not let kids in if they didn't get vac- They used to let kids in if they, uh, weren't vaccine for, like, religious reasons or some bullshit like that. Like, what- That's my question. What, a uh, What god is like, yep. Don't- Like, I- Your- If your kid gets polio, like, that- I- That was on me, dude. I wanted that. That's- That's my way! That's my way! Who- What god does that shit? You know? And, uh, what fucking person believes that that- their- their god wants that? You know? Also, if you think vaccines cause aus autism, literally unsubscribe for me, please. Jesus Christ, that doctor literally was proven to be, uh, fucking phony. And also, you're stupid. And also, there's nothing wrong with autism. It's literally just, like, a thing. <laughs> oh, wait, are you ableist? My bad. I didn't realize. I should've- I should've been more conscientious. Whoops. I've always had a little inkling that I might have some sort of, uh, autism. Definitely ADHD, and sometimes those things go hand in hand. Uh, not- not a thing I talk about very much. ADHD, like, yeah. But, like, the idea that I might have autism, like, it's- It's, like, maybe- if I do, very gentle. Very gentle form. But I remember, like, multi- very many times I've asked my parents, like, uh, Hey, uh, so is there anything wrong with me? Because sometimes I just feel like there's something wrong with me. Not wrong. I don't mean it like that, sorry. I mean more like, well, like, well, I mean, that is what I used to ask as a kid. I used to be like, is there something wrong with me? Before I, like, knew, like, that that wasn't wrong, you know? Uh, but, and they were always like, no, we would tell you. It's like, uh, I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't tell me a lot of things. I don't fucking believe you. I think I- I feel like I shared this story really recently on camera, but, uh, my parents didn't, uh, sign me up for religion because they tried to, but they missed the deadline. Uh, so they just didn't at all. Which I'm very glad, because that shit is a waste of fucking time. Every single person who ever did it has told me that, and they didn't learn fucking shit. So... And, like, I think Bible study is interesting from a, like, academic perspective. I don't think it's at all interesting or useful if you're trying to, uh, pray to that goddamn god, you know? I'm very, uh, not into organized religion, if, uh, if you didn't know. Not my thing. When, uh, when my grandma died a couple years ago, I was like, Man, I fucking wish I was religious, be so I could, like, deal with this better. Because in my head, my thought process, or my, my, like, thoughts on the afterlife and stuff, are like, yeah, uh, there's nothing, dude. And you know what? That shit's scary as fuck, and I wish that I did believe in something. But I just can't, like, I can't convince myself to, you know? I've tried. When, when my, when my grandma died, I tried. I was like, uh, oh, grandma, well, I'm glad you're up there, and blah, 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 but like, it's an, it's an, it's such a nice thought sometimes, it really is. Uh, and I mean, it was partly invented to help people cope with death. Uh, and then sorely abused to, uh, get people to fight wars and willingly die, you know? Uh, but... <laughs> oh, oh, Catholicism, you... You really get my goat. You're, you're the best. <laughs> you're the fucking best! But... You know what? The next freaking bonus game is Rayquaza, so maybe we will, uh... Maybe we'll try to get another Sphiel minigame or something. Maybe maybe we'll try that. What do you think? I think we deserve it because this one is a little bit little bit shorter than uh, 
than usual. I guess if we, like, catch Pokemon and get to Rayquaza, that would probably be, like, 45, 50 minutes. That is kind of long. Whatever. Whatever happens, you know? If I'm feeling it. Is the Mart slot open right now? I don't know. I'm not sure. More thoughts on the afterlife. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty convinced that it's just, like, black, you know? Like, that's it. I mean, I can't actually conceptualize what it's like to not exist, you know? <laughs> but, sure can try. <laughs> but, uh, right, right now I'm very, uh, very cool with existing. I think it's, a uh, pretty Komodo hype. I'm, uh, having a good time. <laughs> For now. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good right now. I was having a rough patch when me and Bonnie weren't together. And not to say that my happiness depends on her, but, uh, I think I just realized, uh, we were making a big mistake, and, uh, it was just, uh, ouch, oofy, owing my, uh, my bones. It hurt. <laughs> it, that shit hurted. So. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I always wanted to die. Sometimes I didn't, but, uh, things didn't feel very good during those days. But, uh, we're all, we're, me and her are both, like, because today, actually, January 17th, uh, if we're not counting the two months we were broke up, broken up, that would be, uh, technically a year and eight months today. Uh, but she was like, I don't really know if, like, how, like, how should we count it? I was like, this scene, because I was just like, I'm cool to just count it, like, a year and eight months, dude. And she was like, no, 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 like, we shouldn't, like, but, like, how should we count it? And... I was like, this matters a lot to you, so... But you can't make up your mind. I have an idea. Why don't I count up the exact number of days that we've been together? And then we can do it like that. And we can pick a new day or something. I didn't say the new day part. Uh, that might be a surprise to her. She might watch this before I even wake up. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out soon. Because I think... We would be together about a year and a half now, uh, which is fucking awesome, by the way. I want to spend many more years and a half with her, which is fucking cool. I was, uh, I kind of grew up, like, thinking, like, ah, eh, you know, whatever, something's just gonna happen. Uh, who knows when it does, I don't care. Uh, whatever. And I guess that is kind of what happened. It's not that I don't care, but, like, this situation just kind of fell, uh... In, into my lap? No, I worked for it. I don't want to sound like that. Because it definitely uh, took work. On both ends, dude. There was a time when I wasn't, like, sure what I was doing. And I'm a, like, I used to be a very floaty guy. Like, float around from one person to the next. And there was one day where, uh, I was, like, kind of, like, hanging out with somebody else, like, a lot. But me and Bonnie were still, like, a thing. And she, like, sat me down one day. She's like, okay what the fuck is going on? And I was like, oh, um, nobody's ever done this with me before. You are cool, and I appreciate this. And now I love you forever, <laughs> you know? So, uh, that was pretty cool. I, I, I like that shit. It's not that I like being told what to do, but, uh, if it's by her, you know, I'm not, not too, uh, not too shaken up about it. It's not to say that she's always right. Oftentimes, she's wrong. Sad, sad. <laughs> she, she didn't kill me. But, uh, I'm, like, she's the, she's the, like, creative, and I'm the, like, the, like, logical, the more logical thinker, I would say. Like, I'm, she'll, she'll have a problem that she'll, like, creatively solution her way out of, but then I'm like, so why didn't you just do this? She's like, I covered my, let's, this isn't something that's actually happened. But th I could see this. She'd be like, I covered my whole body in garbage bags so I wouldn't get wet on my way to work, on my walk to work. I'm like, why didn't you just get an umbrella? Oh, yeah. That's, that's, uh, that, stuff like that's happened plenty of times with us. Like, she, uh, just doesn't find the, uh, simple solution. Sometimes it just takes telling one person. And they're like, why don't you just do this? And it's like, oh, yeah. That happens to me all the time. For as logical as I am, sometimes I do things the hard way. Sometimes the very hard way. Cause I'm stupid. Dude, I feel like I'm like, 
Oh, that's gonna hit Lanoon. No. I feel like I'm like almost like I need to figure out something that's good for my throat. I tried to suck in a little bit of steamy air, but my shower doesn't get hot enough. I don't think. Maybe if I turn on the bath or something. I don't know. Get up that Evo slot, baby. Come on. That's all I'm trying for. Um, yeah, but my throat kind of hurts, dude. My throat, I mean, my throat fucking always hurts. It's hurt since, like, since I started working again. Oh! I'm very, I'm very wholly convinced that the freezer air is really, really, really terrible uh, for, for my lungs. So, that's, uh... I, wa I wonder how my uh, uh, throat and lungs would feel if I took like a week off, you know? Probably feel pretty good. Get him! Ooh, hype. Alright, we've got uh, we got business in that Evo slot, dude. Or we could just get Rayquaza off of this, I guess. Alright, well. That's not bad. Oh, that's a Beldum! Very cute! Beldum's a cool guy. I, I like him. People kind of shit on Metang sometimes because he's kind of just two Beldums stuck together, kind of. But, like, so is Magneton. You probably like him, you stupid little Gen 1-er. Yeah, I said it. You're a big baby and I don't like you, bro. Do Gen 1-ers have a point? Uh, no. I think that Gen 1, at least uh, red and blue, uh, are pretty shit. They, they, they definitely have a lot of good, obviously, and they started one of the greatest franchises of all time. Yeah, sure. But, uh, they just did a lot of stupid shit. Also, I, like, half like the concept that there's only some Pokemon that you can get from, like, trading with NPCs. But in that game, when you can't breed Pokemon to have, like, your own Lickitung, it's kind of silly. In my opinion... Uh, but the, you know, they fix that in Fire Red and Leaf Green, because you can breed Pokemon. Hecking, hecking peggers, bro. Hecking Komodo hype, dude. <laughs> and that's on God. Oh, that was fucking nasty, dude. I ate a peanut butter sandwich, like, six hours ago, and that was all that was. That was terrible. Sorry, sorry for inviting you in there. I want to work on my inflection. I feel like I don't do a great job uh, showing the correct emotion in my voice. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like sometimes just the right emotion doesn't come across. Uh, I feel like I just hear some people who you can really hear like their emotion in like what emotion they're trying to convey in their voice no matter what. And sometimes I'm like, like Bonnie, Bonnie, my girlfriend, if I haven't mentioned her name by now, she's like, I can't even do a good inflection for it, but she'll be like, I love you so much. And I'll be like, yes, I love you too. <laughs> or I'm like, yeah, that that that's hype. That's hype, dude. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm doing a great job explaining this, uh, but sometimes I don't get the inflection that I want. Also, I feel like my face doesn't move a lot. Is that a... I also think I, I guess I kind of keep like a, like a plain face while I'm just like chatting into the microphone here. It's a lot easier to smile when I'm playing with a friend. Mm. But, yeah, I don't know. Just uh, stuff I'd love to improve, uh, improve upon with my content over time. Who knows? Maybe uh, in a year's time I'll be, uh, I'll have crazy facial expressions and I'll, my, my voice will change and I'll be so excited! No way, I'm a tang! Bro! Uh, by the way, it's Rayquaza time. Let's, uh, let's get in that hole before we lose Master Ball. What do you say? Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we fight Rayquaza and then we close it out, baby. Leave a comment if you have any, uh, like, themes you want for the next Pinball Sunday. Uh, because I'm gonna try to come up with some. And have them be, not like a harsh theme or anything, but like, loosely like, hey, like, maybe I could share stories about this concept that I have from my past. Or like, I'll talk about that more. Whatever. Video games are obviously very easy for me to talk about. Like, video game memories and stuff. That's kind of an okay idea. Because I have a lot of games that I grew up with that I'm very sentimental about. AKA every GameCube game. 
Not all of them. There's some that I didn't own growing up that people are like, what? That's crazy. Like, uh, a lot of people are like, Star Fox Adventures is sweet. And I'm like, I have never played that in my life. Because I just didn't have it. Metroid Prime 2. Came with my GameCube. I gave it to my cousin. Because I didn't like it. Because I had no fucking idea what was happening. <laughs> at all. That might be straight down the middle, boys. Boys! Ooh, that was beautiful. Mmm. Lovely. This guy's kind of shitting on us, though, to be honest. It's kind of not great. Ooh, I hear a little birdie outside. Honestly, my mic may pick that up. It's not that loud. I remember one time I was recording, uh... There was one time I was recording Fire Red, and one time I was recording a voiceover for, uh... For Cartoon Universe, and that was supposed to be just my voice, no music. Uh, and a, there was like a fucking super loud crow. It was early in the morning, like this, super loud crow outside of uh, outside of my house, and it was like, wah, wah, wah. it's like, oh my god, I'm trying to be a fucking. I know you're trying to be a bird, but I'm trying to be a dude in here. And can you just like give me maybe like ten minutes? I was like almost done, and it started just going. Wah. It was, oh, that was, that was super annoying. Cause I, oh my gosh, that was like when I was like not sleeping as much either. That was like months ago at this point. But, um, I was just super, super tired. I was like, bro, I just want to go to bed. I had like just come home from work. And I was like recording it standing up for some reason. I was just like trying new things, I guess. Ooh, oh, that was lucky. Not falling in that pit there. There's a, uh, there's a real chance that we don't catch this Rayquaza here. He's kind of being mean. Come on, baby. Go. Mm. Oh, I didn't mean to pause it. My bad. Gorgeous! Oh, that was a beautiful capture. Great job. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's going to take us to 4818? Perhaps? Maybe uh, it might be a little under that. Oh, no. It might be a little over that. Oh, very close! Alright, sweet. We caught Rayquaza yet again. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. This has been your boy, Crit Nick, aka Nick, aka your friend. Uh, Pinball Sunday. Recommend some stuff down below if you'd like. And, uh, you know, like themes and whatnot. And also, I'm always taking game recommendations. So, uh, talk to me about your games that you like and you want to see me play. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. You know the drill. So... Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow for Shrek 2. Take it easy.